Every road trip needs snacks. I don't know what any of these things mean. Isn't that precious? Heart shaped nacho cheese chips. I mean, if somebody gave me this though, I mean, that's real love right there. <laughs> Just throw it in the bag. Ew, what's that? I don't know, but it looks kind of Ew. Lemonade, but it's Lemonade. the same thing. Lemonade, right? Lemonade, but it's black lemonade. That's normal. <laughs> uh, We're used to that. Oh boy. Okay. Smart thing. Smart thing. We're getting this too. Our car is so full of luggage. <laughs> this is the only place for the snacks. In my lap, which is closer to my face. It's about close to 11 o'clock um, and we just checked into our hotel, which is the Seaside Glass Villas. We're about to go to bed, but I thought it would be really fun to try some of these snacks that we got at the supermarket. I don't even know what this is. Pan Terry Mix. I don't like this. Oh my god. That was disgusting. It tastes like black licorice and I hate black licorice. Oh, that was awful. Oh! That is hard to swallow. These are wine gums sours. We're very sour. I'm gonna wash this down with some Smurf it. <laughs> this smells like, it actually smells kind of like sour apple. It's got like a, just a hint of like a green apple taste, but it's like carbonated, but like tastes flat. So it, this is a no from me dog. This though, I know I'm gonna like this. I love York peppermint patties. Anything mint chocolate is my jam. So I have, I have high hopes for this. That's all I have. That's all. not sure it doesn't really look like target in here turns out has zero affiliation with target but it is the finished version of a like general discount store but yeah no target affiliation all right grabbing my blanket for the ice restaurant and here we go
Oh, hi there. We are on the Icebreaker Sampo in Kimmy, Finland. And you might be wondering why I'm dressed like a Teletubby, but I'm about to show you. We are going to go floating in the frozen Baltic Sea. I'm about to do it. Let's go. Oh. I mean, I can feel it a little bit, but not bad. How are you feeling? Good. It's relaxing, kind of. It's relaxing. An unfortunate turn of events has occurred. After the icebreaker Sampo boat that we went on, which was really, really cool, um, we went back to our hotel to gather our luggage that they held for us, and we made our way to the airport in Kimmy. We had a flight tonight um, at 8.55 p.m., and they come on the loudspeaker and say that our flight was canceled. And the next flight was not available until about 6 the next morning. Well, that'd be all fine and good and everything, but uh, our flight home from Helsinki was at 7 a.m. So there was no way we were gonna make it. So the airline put us on a bus to the next like city over that had an airport called Oulu, I think. Um, it was a one and a half hour bus ride. We're in a hotel. And we are getting a 5.30 a.m. flight or something to Helsinki in the morning. Still going to miss our flight um, home to the U.S. So, yeah. It's been, it's, we've had some bad luck on this trip. There are some other things that have happened that I haven't really brought up. Because I don't want to focus on, like, the bad things. But this is the first trip I've been on where things have really just not worked out in my favor. And I'm also sick. So. Anyways, I'm just ready to get home.